Today, the vast majority of us have been vaccinated, nearly nine in 10 of us. But because a few of us haven't, this makes a difference. It means there are more outbreaks of diseases like measles all over the world. Let's take a look at why. Our bodies are designed to protect us. When a nasty disease comes along, our immune system creates lots of little antibodies to fight it. It takes the body a bit of time to work out which one will put up the best fight. Once they've done their thing, they're ready and waiting to fight again, should that disease come back. So when we're vaccinated, we deliberately put a weaker or dead form of a disease into our bodies that can't make us sick, so that our bodies know how to fight that disease should we encounter it again. Now let's talk about herd immunity. It's how a community, especially vulnerable people who can't be vaccinated themselves, are protected. This lot are vaccinated and can't get certain diseases. But this one isn't. But because he's surrounded by the herd, diseases can't get to him. Herd immunity. If the majority of a community are protected, disease can't spread. But aren't some people worried about being vaccinated? And what about people who can't access vaccines? Or those who, for religious or cultural reasons, don't want to vaccinate their children? Here's the problem. For herd immunity to work, a certain percentage of the population needs to be vaccinated. The moment we dip below that percentage, we can't rely on the herd to protect us. So those most at risk, like young babies, the elderly, and those with existing health conditions could get infected. But the bigger and more immune our herd gets, the more protected we all are against some very serious diseases. Pretty cool, right?